After hearing a summary of the work carried out by the energy and mining sector, Prime Minister Son Sai Si Pandon has said closer cooperation between the energy, mining, and associated sectors is essential to enhance the benefits for socioeconomic development and gain public trust. At the annual meeting of the energy and mining sector on Friday, Prime Minister Son Sai Si Pandon congratulated the ministry on its outstanding achievements over the past year, despite the obstacles posed by challenging internal and external factors. Prime Minister Son Sai Si Pandon said the energy and mining sector plays an important role in the fulfillment of the party's development strategy and the government's national socioeconomic development plan. According to the Prime Minister, the achievements of the energy and mining sectors in the past are an important basis for the overall development of the nation. Energy and mining are industries that have the potential to lead the way in the nation's socio and economic development. The energy and mining sector has demonstrated strong and continuous growth over past years and contributed significantly to gross domestic product. It is also a leading sector in fulfilling the party's industrialization and modernization strategy. But alongside outstanding achievements, there are always weaknesses, the Premier said, and urged the Ministry of Energy and Mines to work in collaboration with other sectors to address unresolved issues. One of the most important solutions is to strengthen coordination between the energy and mining industries and related sectors to close loopholes and prevent some companies from taking advantage of ambiguity or imprecision in contracts and laws. The Premier said, adding that this could lead to criticism by members of the public and tarnish the image of the party and state. Some development projects in this sector lacked clear details and directions and that the content of some concession agreements was not oriented to the proper goals. At the same time, laws and regulations were poorly enforced and contained loopholes which led to difficulties in their practical implementation. The quality of work by many energy and mining operations is poor, especially with regards to effectively doing business in new conditions. Some companies suffer from a shortage of funds, lack financial liquidity, and are unable to manage their debts. In addition, managed and business competitiveness is weak and privately owned energy and mining projects. Companies often do not act wisely and responsibly. Prime Minister Son Sai urged the ministry and relevant bodies to strengthen coordination through the use of lessons learned and regulations to ensure better management of all businesses in compliance with the law. Concerning the plan of work for 2024, the meeting agreed to further strengthen areas of strong performance and make improvements in poor performing areas to work. The ministry will also continue to focus on the targets set in the ninth five-year development plan for energy and mines for 2021 to 2025, as well as the national agenda on resolving economic and financial difficulties.